That's right, I eat cakes for breakfast and today I'm going to reveal what in my opinion makes a great breakfast cake. First it has to be filling and nutritious because eating a dessert won't really get me ready for the day. Also low in sugar because I don't want to experience those energy crashes later on. It should be quick and easy so I can whip it up in less than an hour just before going to the bed. And this is one of the easiest apple cakes you can make and it's got all of the morning essentials, oats, eggs and fruit. Basically lots of fiber and a lot less refined ingredients than the usual cake recipes. I start by preparing the apples first, you'll need 3 smaller apples, any type you choose, but I recommend using sweet varieties because this cake is lower in sugar. Peel the apples, remove the core and then instead of slicing into thin slices, you just core them several times and cut into quarters and lightly coat the apples in some lemon juice as quickly as possible. I choose apples for my breakfast cake because they're full of fiber which helps you feel full for longer. Now for the batter, first add all of the dry ingredients into a bowl, 1 cup oat flour which makes this cake even more breakfast friendly, half cup spelt or whole wheat flour, 2 teaspoons baking powder, half teaspoon salt and 1 teaspoon cinnamon for that lovely apple cinnamon flavor. For the wet ingredients you'll need 3 cup Greek yogurt, you can use the sour cream too, then quarter cup maple syrup that not only sweetens the cake but also gives that nice maple flavor that goes so well with apples. Also 3rd cup unsweetened applesauce that adds a nice moisture to the cake and cuts down on the fat and calories and 2 teaspoons vanilla extract for flavor and a touch of extra sweetness. Just mix these together quickly then add 3 large eggs one at a time mixing with a mixer until each is fully incorporated. The eggs will bind everything together and give the cake a nice texture. So if you decide to use an egg replacer like flex eggs, the cake will definitely turn out more dense. And finish by adding the dry ingredients in and mix until it's just combined. I choose springform pan because it makes it easier to remove the cake. Preheat the oven, line your pan with some parchment paper, pour the batter in, smooth the top or shake the pan and it's time to layer the prepared apples over the batter. Arrange the apples in circle, it doesn't have to be perfect and press them lightly into the batter but not too much. The cake will rise anyway and the apples will sink into the batter. After 45 minutes in the oven, this is what it looks like, simple and beautiful. Let it rest for a while then transfer to a wire rack. It's delicious, either fresh from the oven or completely cooled, so whenever it's best time for you to serve, slice it up and enjoy. If you watch calories then serve this breakfast cake as it is, if not add a spoonful of Greek yogurt on top or a dollop of whipped cream for a lovely dessert. I intentionally make this cake just the right amount of sweetness, so if you're craving extra sweetness go ahead and drizzle some maple syrup on your slice. I like its texture, it's moist and tender even though it has no oil. And if I want to eat this cake for breakfast I would have two pieces with a spoonful of Greek yogurt which is in total 345 calories with 14 grams of protein. But if I want a quick dessert or afternoon snack, one piece would be just enough. It's an apple cake but it would be good with other fruits too, such as blueberries, plums or pears. So no matter what fruit you choose I think you should add this simple cake to your to-do list. And if you need more healthy breakfast recipes that will boost your energy and help you start your day right, I suggest you check out this playlist and find another easy breakfast idea for you. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.